1990, I don't even know, 1997 Corolla G6. See, G6, which for anybody who don't know these Corollas is like um, a warm hatch from back then. It's like a, I don't even know what they were. I think they were like 1.3 litre 16 valve. The six is just it was a six speed box. Really not fast, just a little bit sportier than the standard model. Still looks like an old granny's shopping car. Just a slightly sportier interior, nothing much. This has got 15 inch Toyota Yaris wheels, like five and a half by 15, something skinny, just very normal car. But, although it looks very normal, it's a sleeper. It's a damn sight faster than it looks. Um, I will show you now when I open the bonnet. So the end of the bonnet is a Prius GTE 2 litre 16 valve turbo engine from a Silica GT4 Gen 3. It's actually from a Gen 3 WRC edition, which means it's got all the anti-lag pipe work. Not that that really matters, but um, it's, it's a nice thing to have. It makes 315 brake and 340 pound foot at 14 psi, I think it made on the rollers. Um, stock internals engine, hybrid CT26 with a billet wheel, which is Quite big to be fair. Front mount intercooler, 550cc injectors, um, wolf engine management. It's got MR2 turbo gearbox with a limited slip diff, supposedly a TRD one. Uh, PC racing coil overs, poly bush, but yeah, it's a lot of power for not a lot of car. It's actually not that light. It's uh, I weighed it the other day on two different weigh bridges and it's exactly 1200 kilos with half a tank of fuel but it has got it's a full full bodied car full metal full interior it's got and that was with a fire extinguisher it's got um, aftermarket stereo with an amplifier loads of stuff you know spare wheel I'm gonna be taking some weight out of it which we're see in future videos how much faster that makes it but even as is I timed it at 60 to 100 miles an hour with a race logic timing gear and that was 5.8 seconds which is a second faster than an E46 M3 and about as fast as a Ferrari F360 which for what looks like an old ladies car is proper fast and I have purely bought this car to race people and piss people off in fast cars really inside it's just the stock interior with an afr gauge which i've added already since i bought it some aftermarket oil temp water temp and boost pressure gauges and the boost controller and the only other thing i've added since i bought it just to help with grip because people always say front wheel drive cars can't grip but they can if they've got good tires and a good diff and already got a good diff I've added some yeah, Dunlop Dereza 03G semi slicks, 2 and 5 wide on a two on a five and a half inch tire, which is why it looks like a bloody balloon. But now it's got full grip and second gear in this dead dry, which is pretty good going. And yeah, this is it for now. Next job will be removing a bit of weight because 1200 kilos is a quite a lot for a fairly little car. But I reckon I can get at least 100 out of that without too much trouble. Yeah, hopefully plenty more videos and having some fun in it. Um, we'll see some footage now as well of me giving it some because it does sound pretty badass as well. Even though it looks like nothing. <laughs>